Well with just a few hours left until the rapture is supposed to reach landfall in New Zealand I figured for today I would discuss the effects the rapture has in real life. There are all of the usual things such as people selling their homes, and giving all their monies up since they will no longer need them. Which harms children, as one family apparently has rationed themselves to be broke on May 21st and their current child and child coming will be without money, they will be penniless and this seen all throughout the 160-year history of the rapture. Entire families, or towns selling everything to prove to God they're ready. The first occurrence was from William Miller who convinced a large part of one town that the second coming was approaching and they waited on hill two times waiting for Jesus. Both times nothing happened and created what was to become known as the Great Disappointment. There have been many since from Christians such as Jehovah Witnesses and such. Every time people lose homes, money and such as they sell everything. Another place where there is harm, is that every time a leader talks about world peace, there is concern. As many believe that there can't be peace without God, and that the Antichrist will promise world peace but instead will bring about a terrible time. Look at how many thought Obama was the Antichrist as he was talking about change and peace. Many others in the past have been labeled this and something to fear. How can we ever have peace in this world when many see the idea of peace as a ploy by Satan, or something doomed to fail due to God not in control? The next one is similar, this idea that the tribulation will start with the peace treaty between Israel and Palestine. It's this belief that seems to cloud political judgments. Some want the peace so that Jesus will return, others don't want it to avoid the tribulation. And just some want war thinking it will cause God to return. Some believe that in order for Jesus to return, that Solomon's temple will have to be rebuilt, and for this Israel must control the Temple Mount. But before this a red heifer must be born, sacrificed properly and its ashes created to perform the purification ritual. There are churches in the US that are actively trying to breed a pure red heifer, so far all attempts have failed, or look to happen then fail later. Once it is ready this will allow Israel to retake the Temple Mount and reclaim it for their God. Not all Jews care or believe this but there are extreme believers that do. This and other things become a odd paradox where the Christians are helping the Jews get what they want believing that God will return and then kill the Jews and doth their non-Christian. While the Jews don't believe in Jesus and accept the help because it helps them. And the innocent Jews and Palestinians are caught in the middle and this play to end the world. I believe that Israel should be protected and helped, but concerned about how much of these things make things far worse than helping. There is often this feeling that some Christians might get tired of waiting for the end of the world and instead try to help it along themselves. Technology can often be seen as a bad thing, as this idea that the mark of the beast will be RDIF chips, and a complete fear of anything similar, some even fear vaccinations as there is this idea that the chips will be secretly injected and they will unknowingly take the mark of the beast, and be damned. Of course many things over the years have been seen as this, social security numbers, barcodes for products, area codes and such have also been seen as the mark, or the number. Christians have over the years looked at a lot of things with suspicion and fear seeing them as a sign of the end times. There are other dangers that I can't quite remember now but if you can think of them let me know. Tomorrow I will be talking about a book I had as a kid called, Final Notice. And by memory, or from the book itself if I can find it. I will discuss various things from the mid-1980s that were thought to come to pass soon.